some guys, they just hate for no reason. Gabby? I saw Mark here, and he was doing his, just do the motion mark, show the people. So, no, 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 you didn't have to do it. Just do it, like, yeah. So, like, when, he's, when he was scooting his back all the way to the bench, he couldn't get a full range of motion. The thing, the cable would hit before he could actually get a full stretch. So I had him scoot forward, which also helps engage his core. And then I was also having him keep his hands, show him where you're having your hands end. Up top versus where you were before, a little lower. No, 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 I'm saying like your hands were lower and then you had, had you bring them up, right? So you can hit more of that upper to inner chest. Just a little tweak like that can kind of make a little bit of a difference. You're still going to be hitting most of the pec anyways, but um, sometimes you get a little bit more activation if you actually focus on little things like that. So, yeah, quick tip. So I'm about to do some dips as you just saw and I got my, my boy Mark B over here on the assisted dip. If you can't do dips properly or you don't have proper form on dips, you don't feel comfortable with them, the assisted dip is the way to go. I'll even use that like, like if I wasn't feeling good today, I would do that. Just like, just it's just so less, it's so less, yeah. right, it's so less, what's the word, like, less can go wrong. Well, and it's a good compound movement because you're getting chest, triceps, front out. No, I mean, it's like it sucks for them because they're uncomfortable and you're not. Oh, right. I'm saying you have a posing room I can use? Because <laughs> I'll be in there. Alright, so as I just showed you guys, I'm having, I'm going to call it about six ounces of turkey and I'm going to call it about four ounces of. Um, this burger, I might just put it in just as a burger. You'll see on the screen what I end up putting in it as um, into my fitness pal it is. And then I'm also, like I said, I'm having, I think I'm going to call it about a cup and a half of rice. So I'm going to put all this in there. I'll show you up on the screen what that looks like in my fitness pal. And um, yeah, so I'm going to have this meal. going to upload this video that I was working on earlier this morning, answer a few more emails, get back to a few client, clients and um, some Instagram DMs. So um, if you're ever trying to get a hold of me guys, if you want to have some questions answered, I usually take about an hour a day to answer my Instagram DMs. So make sure you go follow me on there. I also need to slow down, I'm talking way too fast. Um, I also post on there every single day. So you want to make sure that you go follow me on there. I post tons of different content, um, just different things that I think you guys would, um, would, would enjoy. And it's always different than the stuff I put on here. So um, I try to make sure it's always different just so you're not getting bored and you always find value wherever you're following me. That's a little bit different on each platform. So go follow me on there. And um, yeah, I'm going to have this meal now. Catch up with you guys in a little bit. And one more thing, this meal might not look like a gourmet meal, it might not look like the tastiest meal you've ever had. Well for one, you're wrong. And two, when it comes to your goals guys, it's not always going to be fun, it's not always going to be pretty, it's not always going to be kind of the thing you want to eat. But when it comes down to it, being someone like me who's trying to put on muscle, you got to get your protein in. You got to eat somehow. So, getting those things in that you have on deck and not being so picky will definitely, definitely help your progress in the long run. Same goes for cutting. Don't be so stubborn. If you want to have something that tastes a little bit better, you're probably going to have to suffer with your macros a little bit. But that comes with the territory. So know your goals, know how much you actually want to put in towards those goals, and um, know that there's sacrifices when it comes to certain things. Um, and it's not always easy. So you got to keep that in mind, guys. What up, Caesar? Hi, buddy. Hey, be nice. Hey, be nice. Yeah, you got an itch, bro, or what? Hey, I didn't ask anything to you. You got an itch, bro, or what? Yeah? Come here. Caesar. Good itching. Come here. Hey, you come. Sit. 
I am gonna have some peanuts right now. Mark just gave me this bag, which I believe is got some decent amount of protein, 12 grams of protein. And um, I'm gonna punch this in my fitness pal. I'll put that up on the screen like I've been doing. And we're gonna go to the mall right now or Rogan Shoes, one of the two. I'm gonna get some new Converse just because I want some of those. And um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys when we're on our way there. All right, so I just ate um, those peanuts I was showing you guys before. And I just wanted to show you the quick little feature in my fitness pal. If you don't already know, if, if you're eating something that's like pre-packaged that has a barcode, you can actually scan that barcode in my fitness pal. And then that's gonna pop all the macronutrients, the carbs, the fats, the protein, every single thing that's within um, the, the nutrients um, actually on here on the nutrient facts into my fitness pal for you super easily. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So you just open up my fitness pal, click add food. And then once you get into here where you normally type to find the food, you click this little barcode sign in the corner. So you click that, and then you're gonna access your camera, and then basically you click this, scans the barcode, and punches it in. And then you just hit add, and you're good to go. So it's really convenient if you have something that, uh, like I said, has a barcode like this. To yourself, I really care about you. I'm also having this Coke Life, which Mark, he has like a bunch of like um, like digestive si system issues, so he gets this Coke that has, um, what is it, stevia? A stevia and extract cane. in it, instead and cane. Of, and cane sugar, instead of normal sugar, so um, I'm about to have one of those right now too, I just wanted to tell you that, because I'm all about that honesty, you know? Alright, anyways. Well, I do, uh, I'm a personal trainer. So I do like a lot of, a lot of like fitness sort of stuff, yeah. For what? But personal trainer like for fitness, for general health, the general public. Oh, yeah, really? So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I work at the place by uh, Body by Design. It's called Right Over by the Majestic. Okay. Yeah, Salto. Yeah. yeah. Kind of that area. Yeah, man. So it's pretty much what I do. So the channel is just all sorts of stuff. So. About like diets and all that. Yeah, everything. Like not even diet specifically, but just like anything and everything. Like just kind of more, more loose. I'll, I'll put up stuff that's like vlogs, like me going to like. Different like different sort of events like the Packer games or like. How many subscribers you got? What's up? How many followers you got? Um, how many like 8,000, 8,300 right now? Yeah. So, on YouTube and then on Instagram. Yeah. On my Instagram I have like twenty two thousand. You gotta put this up for us. Dude, I'm gonna. That's what I'm saying. Well, I came over here, dude, cause I I, I always come to this mall. I live around here, so. But you guys have been changing up the whole food court. Yeah, you can put this up on your Instagram for us. Dude, man. I would love to, dude. And then follow our page too. Dude, fuck yeah, I definitely will. No, dude, because this is cool, because I've heard about this, but I've never seen it. Yeah, our page is called on Instagram, Frozone Donut Squad. Okay. Bro, you look like you work out. You yeah, look, you hit the gym. Day. Bro, this probably, uh, this probably helps those gains, I'm telling you. Yeah, this right here. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, dude. I'm actually uh, I'm starting to starting to kind of go into a surplus as the winter winter approaches here. So yeah, this sort of this sort of stuff will uh, will definitely do the trick. Exactly, that's what I do, man. Every day. Hey, dude. Yeah, it's good. Exactly. Can Gotta have a little sauce, by the way. Or caramel? What's up? Um, um, sauce or caramel or yeah, both? let's do a little bit of chocolate. Any caramels? Um, uh, no, no caramel. Chocolate. Let's do just chocolate. Yeah. This is cool. So like, does it taste like any different? Does it make it taste like? No taste. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. Some good stuff. Yeah, man. All right. Put on your Instagram, and I'll give us a boost. Dude, I'm telling you, because people don't even know about this. Exactly. Like people don't even know uh, that Rocky Rococo's is out of here. They're gonna be mad. Yeah. <laughs> you said it's it's just the name. Yeah. Like the name. No, no actual logo. Any whipped cream? Um, no whipped cream. No whipped cream. Any other toppings? Yeah, so I'm gonna do, let's do some strawberries and then M&Ms. Okay. And then, um, is that Reese's over here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do some Reese's too. And that'll Reese's, do it. strawberries, M&Ms? Yep. It's perfect, man. And is it the MKE one, bro? No, 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 it's not the MKE one. That's our other location. It's so a just, Donut Squad. You gotta add a Donut Squad. There we go. Boom. I got you. You got it? Yes, sir. Dude, hell yeah. 
that I'm pumped right now. This would be so good. <laughs> Mark's pissed. Dude, he's got like a like a bunch of like like he dietary like like he can't eat certain things. This fool. Really? So, dude, he's probably just he's sitting here right now, just like fuming. He's like, yeah, why are you making? And recording, I'm making, man. dude, and I'm making him film right, it exactly, bro. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. Dude, where's that donut at? It's on here somewhere later. There's a cavity in a bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Just what I need. It looks so nicely put together, too. I don't even want to touch it. First. Yeah, I gotta stay healthy. That's all the micronutrients, baby. <laughs> you looking for the micros? It's right here. Mm. Oh my god. Mark, how much do you hate your life right now? I don't want to talk about it. I'm too close. I think it's gross. Boom. Bro, they about to hit us up. I got that follower, bro. Hey, you want to see that promo video for you? Literally, bro. Yeah. So, like, for instance, if this is my client, they'd probably be like, Joe, how would I attract this? There's like a really, this is really hard. I looked it up in my fitness realm, there's nothing on here. Don't track it. That's my answer. Because who cares? If you are going to spend more willpower than you think is necessary on finding all the info on this to get all the tracking info, just know it's a lot of calories. Because you're eating ice cream with a whole bunch of other carbs. So don't worry about it too much. Just take it into consideration for the rest of your day, move on, and uh, you know, just live life a little bit. Because sometimes that's what you got to do. Good. Hopefully you can hear me. Hi. Now obviously there's certain circumstances where this isn't the case, but for my circumstances since I'm in a bulk right now, not really worrying about what I'm actually eating, um, this isn't as big of a deal. So keep that in mind, it all depends on the circumstance. If you're dieting for a show or something like that, you probably don't want to be even eating anything like this. So um, anyways, I just thought I'd throw that in there because there's always going to be someone who says something like, but what if you're dieting for a show? This is for you. This no, I'll be ready. Are you ready? It's the start of us waking up. Come on, baby. I just oh, yeah, my shit. And start confessing. Confessing. Yeah. Oh, I've been shaking. I love it when you go crazy. You take all my inhibitions. Baby, there's nothing holding me there. You'll take me places that tarot is a reputation. Manipulate my. Decisions, baby, there's nothing holding me back. Hands on her hips. So I just got home from Mark's a little bit ago, and I'm gonna finish the night up here with, um, uh, by eating this bag of beef jerky, and I'm also gonna have another serious mass shake. So that's gonna put me at pretty good um, totals for the day. Definitely about 150 grams at least of protein based on my ballparks, and then, like I said, without tracking the the ice cream, the rolled ice cream that I had. Um, I can kind of estimate that I'm pretty good on carbs and then my fat is right where I want to be as well So just to kind of give you an estimate I'm going to show you adding those um, two things into my fitness pal as well Like I have been um, just to kind of show you my totals or give you guys what I'm shooting for I usually shoot for about a gram of protein per pound of body weight no matter what I'm at and um, So yeah, so about 150 to 160 grams of protein kind of a little bit of a ballpark there um, as far as fat, I like to shoot between about 70 to 100 grams of fat, depending on the day. And then um, just kind of um, uh, with the carbohydrates, another sort of range there, at least 250 grams. Um, and then kind of topping out at about 350 grams, depending on the day as well. So I'm really not too worried about it as well, guys. I'm not focusing on the tracking. I'm focusing on how I'm looking in the mirror and also my weigh-ins as well as, um, most importantly, um, along with how I look in the mirror, how my um, lifts are feeling in the gym. That's going to be the utmost of importance during a bulk. You want to make sure that your strength is going up and um, that you're pushing more weight over the course of the months. And um, yeah, so 
that's what I want to kind of get home to you guys and kind of address in this video and hopefully you could find some informative topics and informative sort of tips that I that I use in my own sort of training my own sort of diet so hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully um, you'll drop a like below if you did enjoy it I appreciate that and that really helps out the channel once again thank you a ton guys for all the support and um, I'll be talking to you guys in the next video fuck your have a good night fuck your jewelry fuck your cars fuck all your bitches that you get it's obsolete now all that shit ain't fresh on the phone on the rail homie on the rail tell me how you feel everything I spit is gold like I got a grill